If you're in need of a bit of a closet cleanup like I am, chances are that self-isolation may be the best time to do it. However, there is one charity that is asking you to stop packing that donation bag, at least for now. Diabetes Canada says it's been forced to shut down all of its donation bins right across the country because of the pandemic. We have over 5,000 bins across the country, and unfortunately, uh, we are seeing dumping like this at a number of bins, which is concerning, of course, in terms of uh, public health and safety. The pile of clothing and household items is overwhelming bins across the country. In Calgary, garbage bags are piling up even after the bins were removed from the site. While they appreciate the charity, Diabetes Canada says right now even the legitimate items are being rendered useless. All these uh, items that are left out here are frankly spoiled because they're not designed uh, to be left outside. They need to be inside of bins. So when people dump it and leave it outside here, and we're shut down in terms of our operations because our retail partner, our retail thrift partner is also shut down. Uh, there's no ability to address this issue as a charity. An email was sent to supporters of the charity asking them to spread the word about the bin closures and to contact local politicians to request help. And by help, I mean this costs money to do disposal and there's no revenue in this for any charity to do garbage disposal. So we're asking for any level of government to get involved and to help take care of this problem, including the funding of it. The City of Toronto says it's stepping in to clean up and encouraging anyone who sees one of these pileups to call 311. We worked with Solid Waste Management Services and our municipal licensing staff, and I'm very pleased to announce that we have launched a blitz, which is well underway today, to clean up these areas around these donation bins across the city. Really what we need people to do is to keep it safe and dry at home until such time that everything's back in business. Tammy Sutherland, City News.